Hey there, outstanding kindergarten parents. We are back to school, and even though we are social distancing at school, your child is still socializing and having so much fun with their friends. If you would like to get um, include your home information to have playdates with other students, please keep watching. Or if you are a teacher who is interested on how to use Google Forms to create your classroom directory, keep on watching. If you are a parent in my classroom and you are familiar with your with Google Forms, go ahead and exit out and fill out the form on your own. So I'm going to share my screen with you and you will get an email or a link that looks like this. It says to beware um, because this message may not be um, reliable, but if it comes from my email address and it's titled Ocasio Classroom Directory, then it is okay to go ahead and open. So what you'll do is, um, Regardless of whether or not you would like to participate in the classroom directory, please fill out the two questions. The first is your child's first and last name. So here's little Alicia Ocasio. Yes, I would like to be added to the classroom directory or no, I would not. If you, don't, if you do not want to provide your information, go ahead and click no and submit. Um, it is completely up to you, but I will say in my three years here at Windsor Charter, um, um, there has been 100% parent participation. So if you're wondering if most parents um, include their information or not, I would say um, yes, so far, at least for my class, they do. But again, no pressure. So if you would like to include your information, you would put the parents' first names. So I'll put both of my parents' first names. And then underneath the primary parent's phone number, so instead of adding, you know, a whole list of multiple phone numbers, just whichever parent would prefer to be contacted in regards to a play date or um, birthday parties as well, and then parent email address. So blah, 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 at email.com. And then you are going to click submit and it's that simple. So whether or not you'd like to participate, that is completely up to you and your comfort level. Um, most parents do participate. And uh, let's see, did I forget anything? And um, whether or not you would like to include your information, um, please um, fill out the form anyhow and just click yes or no. That way I know that all parents have at least had the opportunity um, to provide their information. So that is it from me. Um, if you are a parent in my class and you have any questions at all, please email me. If you are another teacher and you have any other questions about how to set up the Google form, please leave a comment below and I'd be happy to get back to you. Have a good one.